Now we're getting ouch and about with our mobile clinic. Today, we're at a theme park to help solve your medical mysteries. If you're anxious about an ailment or curious about a condition, then the Ouchmobile is the place for you. That is incredible. Chris is preparing the clinic ready for his first patient. And Zand is out in the park to answer your burning questions. At the clinic, Chris is open for business. Next patient, please. First in is brother-sister tag team, nine-year-old Arman and Tamana, age 10. What has brought you to the Outmobile today? I've got a terrifying rotten gum. Tamana, what have you got? I think I've got a tooth on top of another. What's your double diagnosis, Doc? This sounds like a rare case of terrifying rotten gum and a tooth on top of another tooth all in the same family, itis. Easy for you to say. Open wide. Now, how long have you had this problem for? As long as I live. As long as you've lived. So I don't think you've got an extra tooth. I think the tooth are crowded, so that one's being squeezed out. What can I do about it? Well, you can see a dentist is probably the best thing. OK. Right, open wide. Oh, look at that. Ouch! A bad case of tooth decay. Half your tooth is missing. So, oh, man. How long do you brush your teeth for? 50 seconds. 50 seconds. Mm. Tamana, how long does your brother... 5 to 10 seconds. 5 to 10 seconds. This could be the reason why Armand's tooth is rotten. Teeth need looking after, and that means brushing them twice a day for about two minutes. And how many times a day do you brush your teeth? Once. And how often should you brush your teeth? Um, twice. Armand's tooth will need to be taken out but to keep the rest of his gnashes, he needs to get brushing. It can be boring, though, so any tips, Chris? Stand on one leg for a minute while you brush the bottom half of your teeth, and then you stand on the other leg for a minute while you brush the top half of your teeth. Hmm, I'm impressed. I think I'll try that myself. Away from the clinic, Zand is ouch and about in the park. Dr Zand, I have something that I need to show you. You've got bleeding under your nail, and the blood's got old, so it's gone black. That white line is how far your nail has grown since you injured it. In about four months, that'll get to the front and your nail might fall off, but then it'll grow back again, so you'll be fine. Why is it when you go upside down on roller coasters, um, does your face go red, but when you walk normally, your feet aren't red? Because you're designed to stand up, not stand on your head, there are actually valves which only allow the blood to go one direction around your body. So if the blood tries to go backwards into your feet, it can't go that direction. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's an excellent question. Back at the Ouchmobile, there's a new case in the waiting room. Next patient, please. And it's 10-year-old Alex, who's got some fascinating features on his fingers. So, Alex, what brings you to the Ouchmobile today? I've got a really weird thing where both my little fingers are bent. What's the diagnosis, Doc? It sounds to me like a case of I've got a really weird thing where both my little fingers are bent. Itis. That's right, Chris. So what we can see here is that the last bit of the little finger on both hands is just bending in. And that's because this bone has a slightly odd shape. So instead of being flat, that's just twisted in. So do you know what this is called? Delta phalanx deformity. Way to go, Dr Alex. We can also call it fifth finger clinodactyly. Oh, yes, the Greek forum, uh... Bent little finger. Exactly. Will they ever go back to normal shape? They're never going to grow straight because the bone in the finger is a different shape on both sides, so it, it will always be bent. Now, it may be possible to have some exercises that make the things you want to do a bit easier. OK, thanks, Dr Chris. That's a pleasure. Job done for today. Clinic closed. Ouch. It's time to meet our next patient. Let's see how the team deals with this. In Manchester, 12-year-old Ryan has come in by ambulance with a nasty neck injury after an attempt to jump like James Bond went wrong. If I crack kick, thought I broke my neck, but if I broke my neck, I would have been, like, dead. Well, luckily you're not, but I'm not sure he'll be the next 007 either. So how did this happen? It was just another ordinary day at school. It was lunchtime and Ryan, being a secret agent, was on a top-secret mission. He's a secret agent? OK, he was pretending to be a secret agent. Cool, calm and collected, Double O Ryan stepped from the shadows. In one swift movement, he unleashed his killer karate kick. 
when suddenly his mate grabbed his foot and Ryan dropped on his head. Ouch. After such a serious accident, Ryan is on a fixed board with support pads to prevent his neck and spine from moving. Enter Dr. Craig Ferguson. He'll check out our wannabe 007. Any pain in your back? Was it just your neck? Head injuries and neck injuries are common. The James Bond theme is less common, but he's got neck pain, so we have to take it seriously. Dr. Craig needs to find out if Ryan has broken any bones, but to do that, the team have to move him in a special way, keeping his head and body in line. That's because the bones in your neck and back protect the important nerves that run from the brain into the body through your spinal cord. You feel me touch all the way down? It's not sore anywhere, is that right, Ryan? I want to get some x-rays to make sure the bones are intact. If the bones are intact, it means it's much less likely that he's suffered any nerve injury. Fingers crossed. Get ready for your close-up, Ryan. There are seven small bones in the neck, and getting shots of them all can be tricky. First, his teeth are in the way. I suppose they could take them all out. So what we're going to ask you to do is open your mouth a little bit for us now. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. With his mouth open, the X-ray can see the bones in his neck. OK, so why did you count? Why did you count? That's it, brilliant. And relax your mouth again. And now his shoulders are in the way. They could cut them off. Pull down so you feel like you're trying to touch your toes. Yeah, that's probably better. Keep pulling down to your toes. Lovely and relax. Yeah, that's brilliant. I hope we don't like fractured anything. I want to get back to playing cricket. OK, let's just check out your x-rays first. Then you can get on with winning the ashes. I'm making sure that the bones are aligned and I'm making sure there's no breaks in any of the bones that I can see. I think that might be good news for Ryan. Right, I've had a look at all your pictures. They all look fine. I don't see any broken bones or everything looks where it's supposed to be. So I think you're going to be a bit stiff and sore for the next few days, but I think it's going to gradually get a bit better after that. It's been a lucky escape for Ryan. It feels like a relief because I don't want to break my neck. Who would? You can go back to school tomorrow, but no more James Bond in this place. Mm. Okay. <laughs>